Hit his area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like. So all y'all want to know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. Jury you know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. You know who I be. I just want to get to it, man. I just want to go. I don't, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to. They say get straight to, get straight to the punch. I'm going through that. ARP, you need to be stopped. Um, I got some things I want to talk to y'all about. It might be a blog or two coming out. It might be a surprise. It might be a tidbit. Um, first and foremost, I was watching ARP's live stream earlier. There will be another announcement today. I'm actually about to go do a blog on that, so when 5 o'clock comes, you can come back and you can figure out what that announcement is. You know, I like to let people's rollouts be their rollouts, and I don't release the holdouts, so you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to do that, but if you're subscribed and you're in tune, you're going to see it anyway. If you are subscribed and you are tuned in, notification bell on. You're going to figure out everything that we got going on here. So who would I be to not say what I see? Um, ARP was on his live stream earlier, and he was talking about the battle rappers as far as like coming to the events. And I've seen this on a multitude of different occasions where people will show up to the venue 20 deep. This is one of them situations where I just I can't this time. I can't. Got Hitman and Calico trying to walk in with 15 people alone and shit. I can't. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I can't. Oh, shit. I said Calico. Mind you, first of all, right, so I've been to all kinds of events before. I've been to big rooms, small rooms, big leagues, small leagues, damn near every league that you could think of. I have not been to a Chrome yet, but I'm sure that's going to happen sooner than later. Um, but I've been to like all of them, the URLs, King of the Dots, uh, Battle Academy, uh, this league, that league, Mom and Pops Battle League, I didn't seen it all. So these guys will show up to the event with 15, 20 people and like, yo, we're not going in until all my guys get in. This block right now. This is one of them situations where I just, I can't this time. I can't. Got Hitman and Calico trying to walk in with 15 people alone and shit. I can't. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I can't. I say this for the battle rappers that be watching and the battle rappers that's tuning into this content. Not like Cal and Hitman. Like, they so, they on such a high level that, you know, they're going to do what they do. But if you're coming up, and I tell my guys this, you know what I'm saying? Cause when I go to events, people be coming with me, you know what I'm saying? Like, whoa, 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 who wants to be anywhere, anywhere, especially in another state by themselves? That's crazy. So I tell my guys when they want to come to the events and all of that, like, yo, get a ticket, support the league, you know what I'm saying? Like, the league will let people in, like media, like artists, and I'm like, maybe I could get, I could get a couple tickets, and I'm probably, I'm going to give some tickets away, too. I am going to give some tickets away to Max Out 3. I'll probably give out two tickets. I'm going to find a way to give them out. You know what I'm saying? We're going to do some. Maybe we'll do FTK, Feed the Kids shirts. The shirts, I will have the shirts online. So what we'll probably do is we're going to put the shirts online and then the folks who cop will take everybody's name and we'll put it in a raffle. We'll put it up here too so you can see how it's picked and we'll find a winner and we'll give them two tickets to max out. It's just what we're doing here. Um, shout out to my brother Showtime SP, but let's keep it moving. So the battle rappers will show up with 10, 15 people and then bam. They want to get everybody in and all of that, so ARP is letting people know. If you are planning to go to the Blue Room, I have been to the Blue Room. I was at Divide and Conquer 1. There is not a whole lot of space in that place. I'm telling you right now, don't be the people that's going to be like, yo, I can't get a ticket. Oh, let me get an extra ticket. Go online and just buy it now to have it. Just telling you. I am just telling you because when this card rolls out, I do know the card, but I'm not going to be leaking battles and shit like that. That's corny. But, uh, you're gonna wanna see it. So he spoke about Cal today, you know what I'm saying? Like Cal, oh, uh, Cal gonna show up at 20, oh, did I just say Cal? Did you just say Cal? Yes, you did just say Cal. Yes, you did. So I'm pretty much like, okay, that's a big name. So you're talking about Hitman Holler versus Ill Will, which is really gonna be a crazy matchup first and foremost, cause I know a lot of people are gonna be quick to just be like, oh, Ill Will 30, Hitman's losing. I mean, in some aspects, especially when you look at some of the battles that he's had, whether it be Cassidy or Easy, and then you see some of Ill Will's battles, some people might jump to that notion. I wouldn't jump to that notion because I did see Hitman versus Bill Collector in a small room. I used the Tommy to get the white, like the Green Ranger. That shit was crazy. That was like three or four years ago, and I was like, whoa, when he start? And then he's had battles. The Cortez, Big T, Bill Collector. He's had he's had small room battles. Is all I'm gonna say. Arsenal was not a Arsenal was not a big stage. That was it wasn't a small room. It was like a mid-sized room. In the back of my mind, I start coaching them. Y'all niggas forgot about that. Now, 
I must say, going into it, I would say the favorite is Ill Will. The Ill Will is probably is the prohibited favorite. I know Hitman's got his, you know, contingent of people that watch him. He's got a large fan base. He got niggas that's gonna go all out. I promise you. I woke up to messages all types of hours after doing recaps on Hitman. I can have Hitman winning about. Niggas gonna be like, yo, but you had him 2-1. It was supposed to be a third. He got the second two. What are you doing? You are so dumb. You shouldn't be on TV. What are you doing? They should fire you tomorrow. I'm calling up to the network. I need you gone. Over Hitman. Like, these niggas don't play by him. So I'd be like, oh, 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 hey, 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 hey. I mean, you know me. I'm gonna still say what I say and play how I play because that's just me. You know what I'm saying? I've dealt with a lot of situations with, you know, I feel a better way about a battle, I'm gonna just say what it is. So, uh, Calico, that's a big announcement, you know what I'm saying? Like, pretty much, that's pretty big. I, I mean, you got Hitman, you got uh, Ill Will, and now you got Calico's name just being thrown out there. You got other people's names, like Daylight's being thrown out there. The Blue Room is where it's at. I wanna see people rap in the Blue Room. I want to be in the Blue Room. And I'm gonna say this, right? From an aesthetic purpose, you know what I'm saying? I've been there before, so I would say aesthetically, it's a dope environment for battle rap. Like, you literally have a dope venue, you can in there, they have drinks, they got battle, you know what I'm saying? It's a pretty dope thing, but the thing I must say is the visibility of the battles. Like, if you're not there, they said they sold out an on cam and VIP tickets the first day, you know what I'm saying? The on cam tickets, VIP tickets, early, no, early bird and on cam sold out the first day or two, so that's crazy. I'm telling you, by the time, let's predict this. Boom. Well, I really can't predict it, but I would say this. By the time this second announcement comes out today, you will understand what I'm talking about. Why you might, I just said that one battle, I just said a name, and, I, and this battle that comes out next is gonna be crazy. It's against two MCs that people have been wanting to see for a little minute. Uh, like, that the one that you're gonna hear later could have been a headliner. You know what I'm saying? Like it is what it is. And the thing is, like when it comes to leagues, like if I know their cards and I know what's going on, and we have, you know, we speak and shit like that, I could do this. You know what I'm saying? Talk about a lot of different cards, but it's just certain. Sometimes I hear, sometimes I don't. So I give you what I know. And ARP knows that I'm recording this. Like you know, what I'm saying we spoke earlier via the text and shit. When he said a statement, what's the statement that he made? He made a statement that was pretty interesting, which was actually the premise of this blog. Which is crazy. I mean, we're here now, but so that was part of the point. But he said, certain matchups y'all ask for, please realize that many times it's not about the contract. We see battlers simply get threatened, bullied, coaxed off cards. I mean, RBE ain't going for that anymore, but we don't have time for the drama to be honest. Stand on that sh or go that away. What he's basically saying is uh, a lot of these battlers whether they in contract or whether they not in contract, I told y'all in other blogs, you don't have to be on a contract to be treated like you're on one. I stopped because I wanted you to get what you do not have to be on a contract to be treated like you're on one. Like how some people be not in a relationship with somebody but have relationship expectations. You see what I'm saying? This is the same type of shit. And what he's referring to is other cards where people have just been simply coaxed off the card. Like, yo, you gotta get off the card or everything's over over here. And I'm not here to like really uh, rile up no league versus league beef. Y'all know what's been going on with a lot of these cards and things like that. And that's kind of like when none of them was speaking in about his third. You know what I'm saying? You worried about the other, you worried about the competitive. Y'all saw it, go watch the shit. I don't have to say it. But I've always been one that said this. And it's not just about RBE, you know what I'm saying? I say this about all leagues. If I got a chance to go make some money that's gonna take care of my family, take care of my kids, and I could just go make a run to here or make a run to there, battle for 20 minutes and then make 10,000, 15,000, 5,000, 3,500. I'ma take it because you're only hot as your last battle. And once you get smoked, they got a way of not fucking with you no more. So I've been said that and I've been stood on it. I don't care what league it is. I'm not a league, 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 league guy. That's why you see me at Battle Academy. That's why you see me on um, Fox with Remy and I got the coat. And that's why you see me at RB. I'm gonna go wherever I want. It's just me, like I don't move like that. It's not no, cause the thing is, you know, it's about battle rap at the end of the day. It's supposed to be, it's supposed to be about battle rap, but it hasn't really been about battle rap much. You know what I'm saying? It's been a lot of drama, a lot of people arguing, a lot of, all type of shit. Now I done seen bloggers and media going back and forth with each other. And my thing is this, if it's not about battle rap, I'm not really here for it, I'm sorry. I seen somebody say the other day, 
Oh, he never covered what went on at the Chrome event. I did four blogs about it. I seen niggas who never even spoke about it once. <laughs> yep, you right, he never did. That's why I said it's not worth it, because you, it, it, when, if it's not about battles, it shouldn't matter to us. And salute to all the fans out there that actually are here for the battles, here for the recaps. I recapped Cali Smooth versus Green Ranger yesterday. I did Oppa versus Rum Nitty a couple days ago. A lot of people wouldn't do those battles, I'm saying, because they're not big view receivers from doing recaps on, you know what I mean? But still, salute to all of those individuals, and I hope, you know what I'm saying, they, they, they go on and do well with their career. But I will say this. <sighs> URL, other leagues, y'all might have to get some motherfucking announcements out here. Y'all might have to get some announcements out here. He's taking the fucking battles. He's taking the artists, and they're not going to battle on two cards. One of the artists that y'all about to hear that y'all wanted to see on Summer Madness is not about to battle on two cards. He's going over. I'm rolling with Rockefeller because they got money. He's going over there. You know what I'm saying? He's, I promise you, he's going to be battling over there. Come back to this video later if you think I'm lying. He's going over there to battle over there. He was over there battling with y'all, but he about to go over there. He was over there battling with y'all. He's going over there. He's going over there. I know his name. <laughs> and when you see it, y'all going to be like, damn, it's supposed to he went over there Signed and sealed That shit's coming out later I'm just saying So they need to get some battles but, um, And the thing is I know y'all want to do league, league, league thing But my thing is this We all like good battles I like Easy to block captain versus chess last uh, The year before We need the good battles Good battles are good for battle rap Daylight versus Tay Rock Has over 240,000 views On my channel The recap Not the battle You know hey, hey, whoa, whoa. You know niggas don't come out on fucking YouTube Hey ho ho Ain't none of that. Ain't none of that. Ain't none of that. Y'all niggas better not even have YouTube on your phone when you walk in this motherfucking building. Ain't none of that. But the recap is almost at 250,000. With just me and my brother Showtime SP. The, 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 one of the best breakdown bar analysts, recap of guys in the world. And I know a lot of y'all be like, why y'all not together every day? That man works day shift and I work from like 2 to 12. So our shifts are totally different. And then my days off are different than his. So when you see us... We had to work to make it happen. And now Cal is allegedly, bro, y'all better book some motherfucking battles in ASAP. Or y'all gonna have some stars battling twice on your car. <laughs> Nigga have to battle the first battle of the night, you gotta battle the fifth battle. Nah, I'm just playing, man. Salute to all the leagues out there. I just be doing what I do. Um, But who would I be to not say what I see? You know what I'm saying? ARP is basically saying that they don't even want to get involved with people who could potentially get a phone call and back off of a card. You know what I'm saying? Like, you could lose half your card that way. Uh, yes, all of these niggas are gonna be like, I'm available, I could do it, I smoked that nigga on September. Everybody's gonna say that, that's what they're supposed to say. Everybody's gonna say it. But still, who can stand on it? That's why ARP says stand on it. Cause they not gonna do it. When they get that call, nigga be like, yo man, I got a bloopy bloopy blue for you. Nah man, you know I already booked this card. I said I got bloopy bloopy blue for you. Alright man, I'm gonna call him back later. Damn. So. That's why I see where he's at with it. There's another artist that's gonna go over there too. Another artist that is on one side gonna be going. It's a couple people that's gonna be going over there. One that we seen pretty recently and did a really good fucking job in his battle. He going over there and he gonna have a good battle. Too. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna just leave it there, man. Um, but salute to every single one of y'all that watch this content, whether religiously or in passing. Uh, Chrome has a card coming up soon too. Uh, I've been, you know, I spoke to Remy and shit like that. Uh, we, I, I probably, it's gonna be some more coming out about that too. You know what I'm saying? It's for all leagues. I don't have, you know what I'm saying? I know y'all be feeling like, oh, league, league, league. Listen, man, league contact me, or if I'm in contact with a league and they want to give out information or news or whatever the case may be, or keep us abreast, then we do that. You know what I'm saying? But the thing is, you want to like the like a lot of some of these leagues like ARP and Chrome and all of that. They, you know what I'm saying? They realize the value of the media. You know what I'm saying? So they'll stay in contact with them. You know what I'm saying? They'll let them get the pay per view. I haven't paid for an RBE pay per view in like four years. They got some shit now like where your name is automatically on the list. Every single pay per view that comes out, I get for free. Every one. There's not one. That's why I give pay per views away and do shit like that because I'm like I get mine for free. I never pay for them. But they realize that. You know, you do good by people, people gonna do good by you. Chrome, I got a jacket. I never even wore my shit, cause it, by the time I got it, it was hot, you know what I'm saying? And I'm about to fly, like I be known for the shit that I wear. I'm not just gonna throw on anything. So I got it, I'm gonna rock it sooner or later when the weather cools down, but you know, that's the type of shit. But when you get treated like a second class citizen, like, oh, you just be happy to be around us, I be like, <laughs> 
Y'all got it. <laughs> I'm not I'm not happy to be around nobody. You know what I'm saying? I'm only happy to be around my kids and my family and, and you know, Showtime has kids, my friend. You know, <laughs> and shout out to him, you know what I'm saying? I was thinking about it. Um, and I'll just say this right quick before I get out of here. I heard about all of the uh, stuff going on with the two real for Battle Rap, Harlem Legend and Quad. But I'll be honest with you, I didn't look into it. I did not look into it. I did not watch any of the videos. I just want to tell y'all as brothers, you know what I'm saying? Like, or if y'all cool, y'all should be able to split amicably and go your own personal ways. But all this public shit, you know what I'm saying? One person got to say this, who didn't pay this, that guy, I saw like a little clip that passed, but I didn't watch any of the videos. And it's just like y'all not, we supposed to be here for battle rap. Y'all call yourself too real for battle rap. If you're too real for battle rap, then keep it battle rap. Y'all don't have to be doing this public spat shit because it makes all the media look bad. It makes niggas in the comments, bloggers do this, bloggers do that, bloggers. So y'all don't realize the impact that y'all actions be having when other people are around looking at this shit. When you read the, look at the bloggers being, the bloggers think they bigger than battle rap. My thing is this. Even with everything that I got going on, I always say I'm not bigger than the battle rapper. I, the battle rappers are the sole reason why I'm here, the sole reason why I'm doing what I'm doing. I wouldn't be, these the people would not be watching me if I'm just sitting up here talking about myself. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you have to, y'all gotta get that shit right. And just, if y'all don't wanna work together, y'all ain't gotta work together. You know what I'm saying? Me and SP have never had a real issue. No, we've never had an issue. But have we had issues with battlers? Hell yeah, plenty of them. Hell yeah. I could name about 20 battlers that we've probably had an issue with over, always over a, yo, a battle or he got smoked uh, yo niggas got they we always we've had those but guess what we've squashed damn near all of them you know what I'm saying because behind the scenes me and him realized yo we're not out here arguing with these niggas we're not replying to these niggas yo we're just gonna do what we do and that's my brother I was glad to meet him at the mall we spoke we watched, we watched a couple battles and now this man is on a syndicated television network. So the things that you can do in the places you can go when you just don't let y'all shit get public is, is, um, is, is big. You know what I'm saying? I was in SP's wedding, you know what I'm saying? Like I was at his wedding, I was a part of his wedding and I met this dude through battle rap. So there's beautiful things that can happen through it. I just hope y'all brothers find a way to see, you know what I'm saying, that y'all don't have to speak on each other, y'all could chill. You know what I'm saying? When y'all was beefing with Bill, who got all of y'all on the phone? I did. You know why? Because I don't want to see y'all doing this shit in public. I want to see y'all squash y'all shit and move on. It's just some words. I'm not putting their names in the title. I won't sensationalize it. If they see it, they see it. They don't, they don't. But it is what it is, man. Salute to all the leagues out there. We'll get this shit going. Gang, 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 and on bang. Shout out to FTK. Feed the kids, gang!